Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Pageant Sit Down. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know I did, but I am so excited because today I have a very special guest for you. She is one of my Galaxy Queen sisters, and she has a lot to talk about tonight and I'm really excited for it. So please everyone, welcome to the pageant sit down, your Miss Preteen Galaxy Canada, Kylie Costi. Hi Kylie. Hi. Hi, welcome to the pageant sit down. You look great. Um, if you could just tell everybody a little bit about who you are. So I am Miss Preteen Galaxy Canada and I'm currently on a winning streak in pageants. But aside from pageants, I have a few hobbies of horseback riding, and I actually have a horse named Ellie. And then I also have two dogs who I tried to train to do some stuff, named Jack and Mandy. Awesome. So you're a horseback rider, and is that where you came from today? Yes. That's awesome. And I know you have a new horse named Ellie. You got her for Christmas, right? Yes. That's awesome. Um, so horseback riding. I know we're here to talk about pageants, but I'm very intrigued, especially because you just came from the barn. Um, what got you into horseback riding? So what got me into horseback riding was a few years back when I was seven or eight, I think I had some older friends who did it and they introduced me to just this one week camp and I went and I ended up really enjoying it. And five years later, I'm still in the game. Wow, five years, that's amazing. So when it comes to horseback riding, can you educate me a little bit? Um, are you called a horseback rider or is there a special word for it? So a lot of people use the term horseback um, riders and you do horseback riding and that is correct, but the more proper commonly known name for us is equestrians. A say that one more time. Equestrians. Equestrian? Yes. That's cool. Um, so with horseback riding, do you do competitions? Like, can you, do you do one of those that, like, I've seen them only on TV where they jump over hills and stuff. Is that what you do? Yes, it's called eventing in the horse world. Eventing, that's awesome. So do you do competitions? Yes, I have actually done, I think two, well, I've done two and a half full show seasons and I say half because they got cut off um, because of COVID but each show season generally has anywhere from 30 to 60 shows so you can imagine I've done quite a bit of shine. Wow so does that is that all in like one season like in the summertime or is that throughout the year or how does it work? It's generally through spring and summer because those are the warming uh, the warmer months but there also is some through the fall and the winter but not as many. Oh, wow. That's awesome. It must be so powerful being on a horse and being able to just jump over items and do tricks. That's that's an amazing. So you just got Ellie. Are you training her for some of the new showcases coming up? Yes, we are right now working while we have time while COVID's still around. Um, so there's no shows. But hopefully in June, there will be some shows and I'll be competing with her. That's so fun. I, I never got into horseback riding. To be honest, I'm terrified of animals. But when I saw your YouTube channel and I saw all of your videos, that's, it looks like a lot of fun and a lot of, um, what's the word called? Balance, because you're on a moving horse, right? Yeah. That's awesome. So talking about YouTube a little bit, you were or are on YouTube. What's going on with that? So I actually had a channel um, that I would say has had a pretty good amount of subscribers for a small account that I had only started a few months back. I think I got, had around 500, but there was a lot of people spamming and it was getting me shadow banned, which is basically when you just don't get featured anymore on anyone's discovery page. So your channel doesn't really have as many opportunities to grow as it normally would. And mm -hmm. I was getting a lot of inappropriate comments um, that kind of bothered me. So I deleted that account, but I have just restarted with an account called Ellie Eventing. Oh, nice. Okay, so what I'll do is I will grab the new URL from you, and then I'll put it in the description below. So people, let's get Kylie back to her following. Make sure you subscribe to her channel and follow because it's a brand new world for me just watching your journey. So I'm sure a lot of people will 
learn about it from your channel. Um, so horseback riding, you're very competitive and that kind of brings us back to pageants where you said from the top, you are on a winning streak. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So I actually used to do this charity event and there was a big ball and I always kind of like getting dressed up and having people like stare at you and be like, oh my God, and all the little kids think <laughs> you were a real princess. So when we found out there was a local pageant not too far away, we decided to do it and then I ended up winning, which brought me to Galaxy and I also ended up winning there. Wow. So when you say you're on a winning streak, you are on a winning streak. So I'm excited to see what happens at internationals. And I think it's great that, you know, you competed in your first pageant one, you were on the high of this win, make your way to uh, Galaxy Canada and you and your little sister, actually, you both competed together, right? Yeah. That's awesome. So what made you or your mom decide, let's put both of my daughters in and see what happens. It was me and my sister that both just wanted to try it out because it was pretty new and obviously my sister being like her age really wanted to just get out and wear a pretty dress <laughs> and just be a princess for a day and I also thought it was kind of cool after I found out it wasn't like a toddlers and tiaras type thing <laughs> yeah. and a really good chance to make some new friends and all that stuff so I liked it from the start and now I'm here. That's amazing. And it's so great to see that you and your sister both won. Um, Ky your Kylie Kinsley, sorry, is the Little Miss Galaxy Canada. So I'm sure both of you are so excited to be going into internationals together. What was it like, you know, you went and did a local pageant, going into a national pageant stage. How did you find the difference and the whole experience altogether? Well, the difference was there was a lot more people and the local one I did, you didn't have to have multiple dresses, you didn't do interview, it was just one walk on literal like taped lines um, oh. and the judge was the one talking about you for you. So oh. the difference was that you actually had to do a lot of talking for yourself and you had to put in a lot more effort and charity hours and just stuff like that. Wow. So. You know, you're a preteen, you know, you, a lot of your friends are probably wondering what is Kylie up to? What were your friends' reactions when you won? Well, at first, um, only a few of them knew and I'm guessing they were surprised because <laughs> I had told them about how many people there were there and how I thought I was, didn't have a chance when I met the other people. So when they were watching the live stream at like two in the morning, they were probably very surprised based on what I told them. That's awesome. So your friends are super supportive. Maybe you should get them to Galaxy Canada. <laughs> Most of them are hockey people. I don't think I could drink them out there. You never know. They'll go from their ice skates to their heels. <laughs> Anything is possible. Um, so talking more about pageants, you know, you and your sister have been doing so much. Oh, actually, Cindy, Cindy with an S is in the chats and she made a comment about what you just said. She said Chloe plays hockey. So if Chloe plays hockey and is our reigning Miss Teen Galaxy Canada, maybe oh. your friends will too. What I mean by hockey is like not like hockey girls is they're very big on sports, football, and I don't think I could ever see them in a dress or wearing a crown just based off their personality and yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Maybe one day, you know, girls, you're still growing. You're still learning about who you are. Maybe one day, Cindy, open up some applications for them just in case. Um, so going back to what we were talking about, you know, you and your sister both are doing this together. You've done such an amazing job there in Windsor with all of your appearances and all of your food drives and all of that fun stuff. So what would you say has been your favorite appearance so far? I would say probably for my favorite appearance, a lot of the parades because when you're little, you're always like, oh my God, like look at the real life princesses up there and you'd wave and you'd be like, oh my God. And now that you actually get to be one and everyone's staying there clapping and you get to toss candy, it's really fun. And it also counts as charity slash um, appearance. So those mm -hmm. are probably my favorite. 
That's awesome. And one thing or one event or fundraiser that you've been doing for a long time is Socktober. Um, can you tell the viewers a little bit about what Socktober is? So Super Socktober started when I was about seven or eight and my parents actually came up with the idea, but I was the one who did it through. And it just actually started at my school where we held this little contest and we were like whatever class brings in the most socks gets a pizza party and then mm -hmm. from there out every year it kind of grew we brought it to my mom's work we then brought it to other places um and now we have people sending in money to go buy socks from all around the world um so yeah it's definitely grown a lot and it's really good because socks are one of the least donated but most needed items so yeah wow that's i didn't even know socks were the that's awesome. Um, so how many pairs of socks do you think you've you've collected over the years? I would estimate over the years, because I think two or three years ago, we had around 18,000. So I would estimate by now we are probably in the in the early 20,000s. Wow, that's a lot of socks. And that's amazing that you and your family continue to do this because my feet are cold all the time and i'm inside a house i can only imagine what it's like for those without socks so kudos to you and your family and if people wanted to maybe help out with socktober and reach out to you how could they do that they can always dm me on my personal account or my miss preteen galaxy account which i'm sure regine will put somewhere yeah. if she can I... um... yep that's awesome. So yes, I did. I put the links into the description below. So make sure if you guys are interested in Socktober to do so. Um, it's just so interesting to me that you have done so much at such a young age and you guys can, you and your sister um, both continue to inspire me. Um, and I know most recently you also donated a few socks to a shelter. Is that correct? Awesome. How how was that experience for you? Because, you know, we're so used to doing all this charity work, but how is it at such a young age? How does it feel to see people react to what you're giving them? Well, it feels, it just makes you feel really good about yourself because you're already, like when you're eight years old and you've already made a change in someone's day or maybe even someone's week, it just feels like just really good. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good answer, and I'm so excited to see how big October grows, and just to see what you continue to do during your reign. Um, and with your reign, you know, both of our reigns and the sisters, we've all had our our extension. What was your initial reaction when Cindy and Maria said we're postponing the pageant? I was a little sad because I couldn't get to go see of my sister queens and a lot of my friends and I didn't get to go compete but it, there was also kind of a happy side to it because it gave me more time to practice um, my walk and my interview and everything else get more um, appearances in so that when I got there it would give me extra time to be really really ready um, and it just makes you more excited when you have to wait two years for it. Mm -hmm. That's true so have you talked to any of the other girls from all over the world there's actually a preteen um group chat with all of us who have instagram so yeah i have and then me and alexis um the younger one talk a lot that's awesome so it's it's great to see or and have that sister bond with people from all over the world because you know without galaxy you wouldn't know these girls right yeah that's awesome um so Kylie, what would you say is something that you're looking most forward to for internationals? I would say I'm looking forward to the whole thing, but probably the white party takes the top of the list because just of what I've heard about it um, and the disco partying and you get, get to be with your friends and hang out. I'm really excited for that and also pajama party because it's very close to the same thing, but you're in pajamas. Yes, I feel you on that one. I am so excited for the white party. I already have my outfit. I hope it still fits. That's my biggest concern. And I'm sure for you too, because you know, you're at that age where you're still growing. Have you outgrown any of your outfits? 
<laughs> no? Okay, well, that's good. But that's because it was, like, three years old. Mm. But, that's yeah. fair. Wow. Um, so, Kylie, I'm going to go to the Instagram questions. And I have a interesting question here. It says, does Miss Kylie have any pets? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't believe you actually use that one. <laughs> I mean, it's there. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a horse named Ellie and two dogs. One's named Mandy, and she's a bit older. And then she has a son named Jack. And at first, we were planning on selling him, but then we actually ended up keeping him. Um, and now he's three, two. Oh, gonna be three soon. That's awesome. It's funny because people are probably wondering why you asked if I, why I asked the question. So Kylie asked that question, and I thought, why not? <laughs> going to hey it's here okay and so another question here is what's your favorite thing about pageants probably not my favorite thing if, oh my god my favorite thing about pageants is probably not only that you get to go and compete and win the crowns and wear big fancy dresses but all the people that you meet along the way because you can make some really awesome friends have a really good time with them and there's always someone to hang out with there because of how many people are there. Mm -hmm. So I would say that's probably my favorite part. That's awesome. So tagging into this question, what is your favorite segment so far? What's the segment? <laughs> so do you enjoy um, evening gown, fashion, oh, wow. opening number? I would say I really like opening number because you get to dance and it's really fun to rehearse too although mm -hmm. eight hours does get a little tiring but it doesn't make it any less fun so yeah i really like opening number but ball gown takes a very close second awesome um so you mentioned that you enjoy the dancing for eight hours do you dance or do any type of oh. art in no way um <laughs> I never, but it's fun to do it once in a while. Unless you count doing TikTok dances, then. <laughs> you do TikTok dances? Sometimes on my oh. account. Interesting. I'm learning something new about you. I just got on TikTok, but it's I only have it so Cindy can send me stuff. To be honest, I I never wanted one, and she's like, just make it. So I'm gonna look for you, and I'm going to watch all of your videos. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so wow. Kylie, there is a segment here on the show, which is five tips from a pageant girl or a pageant queen. So, you know, you are my first junior queen here and I wanted to know what would be your top five tips you would give to anyone or maybe what are some things that you wish you knew before joining pageants? I would say one, to just try and live in the moment. Don't think too much of it because if you're going there just to win and that's your main focus that's obviously a good thing that you're determining you want to win but also try to have some fun don't take it too seriously because pageants were made not only to so you could go out walk around in a dress talk to some people but so you could go and just have a fun time um so just don't take it too seriously and then two i'd say like just be yourself don't try to be somebody else because chances are you'll have you'll win if you like no you're not you have a better chance of winning if you're not just constantly trying to do something that someone else is trying to do just be yourself uh number three get your practice in because when you show up unprepared it's not gonna look good speaking from true friends um <laughs> four that's kind of just another thing i wish i would have told myself is be ready to just 24 7 be busy with something ironing a dress doing interview practicing walking dancing just don't think you're gonna get to go there and just chillax and because obviously you do have some time but it's not like you can lounge around all day and i wish i would have knew that because that's what i was expecting when i went <laughs> to it and one more That's all I would really, there's nothing much else. Just, just don't, if you're just going there, like just be yourself, like be yourself, live in the moment and try to have fun, come prepared. 
Um, and that's basically it. There's not a lot else you need to know um, if you don't want to get like too in detail to everything. That's awesome. Those are great tips from from you. And I hope that, you know, you inspire the younger generation to believe in themselves, be themselves, be in the moment and enjoy. Um, has anyone ever told you, Kylie, I look up to you? Not unless you count my little sister. Oh, that's that's actually really cute. But because, you know, like you said, when you were before you got into pageants, you um, would see all these beauty queens and you thought, wow, they're real life princesses. How does it feel for you to be that princess now that the little girls will look up to? It, I would say most of the time it's just fun and so sweet that they like they look up to you and they're like, oh, my gosh, she's a princess and she's. Like, that's what I want to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really sweet to just think that someone else, like, wants to do what I do and wants to be in my shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, because if you were just, like, yeah, if you were any other person, they might not want that. Well, I think what you're doing is amazing. And I think it's so sweet that you said your sister has said that to you because, you know, you're both in this together, but you are still the older sister, right? And there are younger girls out there who are looking at you and being, wow, you know, Kylie's Miss Preteen Galaxy Canada and she's doing all of these amazing things. And, you know, when you go into nationals, there are going to be the Little Miss who are there and all the preteen delegates out there who are watching and being like, I want to be just like Kylie. So... (laughs) I, th- I know it's awkward to hear, but what you're doing is great. You you are making a difference in your city, in your community, in the country, and, you know, you're making an impact. And I feel like girls your age need that, um, what's the word called, need that role model to be like, hey, Kylie's doing it, I could do it too. And, you know, your friends may or may not know you're doing pageants, but... You can also show them a new world, right? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's just like with horseback riding, you know, that makes you so unique because not everybody does it. And you just taught our viewers what horseback riding is all about. Yeah. So Kylie, (laughs) (laughs) sorry, I just got all emotional there. But Kylie, what is something that you're looking forward to with your reign continuing going into internationals? Probably just, and this is another thing with getting to keep it longer, getting to use um, my title to um, like do more charity, because obviously you can do charity anytime, but when you have a title, you can get it out to more people. A lot of people will see it and it might inspire them to do the same thing. And I'm hoping if I do win and get a bigger title, I'll be able to do the exact same thing, but with a lot more impact, because there's going to be a lot more people that would know me if I did win. Um, so yeah, kind of just the charity aspect of things. That's awesome. So charity seems to be a very big part in who you are and yeah. your family, right? That's awesome. So what are some of the charities that you have worked with in the past? <laughs> now that you mention it, I forget everything. Oops. Uh, obviously my own charity Super's October we've done it's not like a specific charity we donate to but we do a lot of food banks around we did the pantry which we literally could have filled with the amount of food we brought we brought a lot of food and that's kind of what we do it's not like we're um, aimed towards a specific charity but if we see someone put out a Facebook post it's like we need water we need food we need like we just got, I remember one of them got robbed, um, one oh. of the food banks, and we were oh, right no. there. So it's not like a specific charity specific charity that we help. It's kind of just all around whoever needs help, we're there. Wow. That's, that's so sad that a charity or a, a food bank got robbed. But I'm glad that you were able to, you know, step up and give back. Which actually reminds me, um, I know you did a radio interview um, a few months ago, and you asked for, what was it, a fridge? Yeah. How did that happen? Well, doing a, this was when 
they had made a swell pantry, I think in Riverside or Bell River or somewhere around here. And mm -hmm. they wanted to make a fridge. So, I mean, or they needed a fridge so that they could put more like egg, milk, all that stuff that needs to be refrigerated in so that it doesn't get expired. So he, uh, we made a few calls, asked a few people, and we actually got one in return for doing a little talk on the radio with him. Um, mm -hmm. I forget what the radio show's called, but I'll try and find it later. Um, so yeah, we did the radio call thing in return for a fridge, and we gave that to the pantry, and now they can refrigerate things and keep it cold. That's amazing. It's so crazy how just asking for a fridge got them a fridge. You should have asked for more. You should be like, hey, we need a fridge. We need, a what else do they need? <laughs> we need two fridges. We need a deep freezer. I mean, you throw never know, horse. right? <laughs> Did you just say you need a horse? I said throw a horse in there. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Um, speaking of horses, you know, you just got Ellie. She seems to be really taking a lot of your social media. Um, yeah. Is Ellie your first horse that you've owned? or? Um, well, I she's not actually an own that we own her. It's like, let's say your parents or you lease a car. You can do whatever mm -hmm. you want with it. You can bring it whatever you want. You just don't technically own that car until you um, give it back, or which is ending the lease, or you buy it. So we are right now on a lease to own with Ellie. So kind of like Aww. with a car. But she's the first horse that I've had a lease to own with. So kind of, yes. So she's like, she's she's your baby. She's your pride and joy right now, right? My rental baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never know. She might be yours one day. Um, but that's great. How, so you got Ellie as a surprise, right? Yeah. How how was it in the moment? Like, were you expecting Ellie? Or were you, or were you just in full shock? Well, I think I knew that something was up. Because like, one of the chances... Ellie gets like I had asked my mom like because um, I was ca trying to know like if we were gonna get Ellie what was going on and I'd asked her and she was like Ellie got sold and I was like oh, oh no and, and literally the next day we did a scavenger hunt that went to the barn so I think I knew something was up but I definitely did not think it was Ellie and it was like seven in the morning when my, my brain could not comprehend what was going on so I just kind of <laughs> cried but it was a good time that's awesome. So if Ali is your first lease to own horse, when you were doing different showcases, what horse were you using? Well, I ride at a lesson barn and they offer like you can do lessons on the ponies. You can borrow them for shows. So I was kind of just riding basically a new pony every show. Mm -hmm. um, but the main horse I was riding was Dawson at shows and also Sunny sometimes. Oh, nice. So I guess it's different when you're using a different bunch of horses because you don't have that connection with them yeah. right so it helps now that you have ellie that's that's really cool um so earlier you mentioned you know you've done two and a half showcases correct oh seasons yeah seasons sorry um so are those the ones where you get ribbons and medals and stuff like that yeah ribbons medals trophies all that stuff but it's mainly just ribbons Wow, so, you know, do you have a whole wall full of ribbons with how many you've done? And then on top of it, your sashes and crowns? Yeah, well, I don't have, it's not like a wall. I kind of just have ribbons wherever I can fit them. There's some on my window, some on my bed, some on my TV, some on my desk. They're everywhere. And then my crown and my sash stays in the crown and, um, like, the little box that Cindy got us that has... Mm -hmm. It's red and has a crown on it, so we keep everything in there, and it generally stays in the car, so that when we're on the go, we're like, okay, we've got it. We don't need to panic that we're going to do an appearance. <laughs> That's awesome. So you just mentioned appearances. I know I'm going all over the place, but I'm going with what you're giving me. So you, we just spoke about appearances. How do you find the appearances? Because you're from a small town, right? So yeah. how do you come up with, this is what I'm going to do this week, this is what I'm going to do next week? Or did you come up with like a list of things that you wanted to accomplish during your year? 
Well, it's not really a list of things. Like, we had some stuff in mind that we wanted to do, like putting socks in plastic bags and just putting them all around town for homeless people. That was kind of things that my mom just thought of and were like, yes, we should do that. But a lot of it gets posted on Facebook or Instagram or whatever that people need help all around. And it, have to, uh, it happens pretty often around here because we live close to Windsor, which has quite a lot of homeless people um, and shelter. So it's not that um, uncommon that we see a lot of Facebook posts and stuff like that. So we'll generally just go to whoever needs help. Awesome. Um, so you're from a small town. Do they see you as like a small town hero? Like, ooh, look at these two young girls. Or do you feel like they don't know who you are? Well, I'd say like majority of the people, like unless my mom goes up to them and she'll tell their parents or whatever and be like, oh my God, like, wow. <laughs> uh, but most people don't know about it because it's not like they go and they stalk my mom's Instagram and they're like, oh my. <laughs> So you don't have the full small town vibe thing, but you know, maybe one day you'll, you'll make a, cause you're already making an impact in your community. You know, you're just taking all these strides and you're getting there. And I'm sure one day you and your sister are going to be on some bulletin board or billboard and be like, the Costi sisters. <laughs> Hopefully. Anything is possible. So Kylie, you know, we've been talking a lot about pageants and a lot about horseback riding. Um, but right now we're in this pandemic and I know different cities in Ontario and in Canada are in and out of lockdown. Has lockdown affected you in any way, shape or form in terms of um, pageant prep or horseback riding? It has definitely affected me in a lot of different ways, but also given me some time to catch a break. But I would say pageant-wise, it has affected um, finding appearances because everything's closed. There's a lot of limited things you can do. Like we could have had 10 appearances last summer just from doing parades alone, mm -hmm. but obviously none of that stuff is open. And then riding, um, when I didn't have Ellie, um, obviously you can't come to the barn um, when we're in gray or um, yeah, red, all that. So mm -hmm. you couldn't come to the barn unless you owned or leased a horse. So that affected it a lot. I couldn't ride for about five months and then I think another two wow. months and show season got canceled. But it's given me a chance to just take a break and also it, but we have found a lot of like appearances and things to do still. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that, you know, you're back on the horse, literally, and <laughs> you're now able to find, and you found, sorry, different ways to do appearances and make a difference in your community. What's, you know, what's next for you in terms of your galaxy prep? Is that like, do you mean after galaxy or like No, nope, I mean... I, I mean, like, what's on your to-do list, I guess, for your upcoming appearances and stuff? Like, what are you doing to get ready for Galaxy? Oh, well, we have a lot of appearances coming up. I think we're just going to stick to what we're doing with just putting things out for homeless people and along that line, looking for appearances whenever we can. And then me and my sister starting to practice our walk a little more often and talking, obviously, with you and talking... <laughs> with my parents and all that um, for interview practice. So we've been doing quite a bit to get ready. That's awesome. Are you excited for internationals? Like, I know you. So it's going to be your third pageant, right? For both you and your sisters. So how are you feeling about that? Like, are you super excited? I mean, you're on a winning streak so far. Yeah. I would yeah. say I'm excited, but also a little bit nervous because by the time um june or july or august or i forget when rolls around i think i will have everything ready and i'll be ready to go and i'll like just be ready to get on that stage but i also know that the competition is going to be really hard um so it's yeah i'm a little excited but a little nervous no and that's completely fair i feel you on that one you know we've all had a two-year reign gave us two years to prepare and so I feel like the stakes are higher, but I feel like Team Canada is really strong and I know you and your sister are working really hard to 
to get to the crown and I'm really excited for you. Like I said, you know, you are an inspiration to a lot of these younger girls and they are looking up to you. So I'm looking up to you and I'm really excited to see what is next for you when it comes to not just pageantry, but also your horseback riding experience and your community work. So for those who are tuning in, um, if you have any questions for Kylie, let us know in the chat. I do want to say Cindy is in the group in the chat still. Cindy has been such an amazing director for us. Don't you think so, Kylie? Yeah, she she went to visit you guys uh, before the pandemic, right? Yeah, a few times. That's awesome. I do wish because, you know, Kylie, you guys are so far from Toronto. I just wish that we're able to get together soon um, because, you know, there's seven queens and I just want us all to get together and do our photo shoot, um, which speaking of photo shoots, have you been able to do any recently? We have one scheduled in the upcoming two, maybe one or two weeks, but we haven't been able to get to any. We were supposed to do it back last March, I think. Oh, wow. So yeah. a full year later. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Cindy actually said, ask Kylie to save me some chocolate mints. Oh, I, you know what, Cindy, no. Oh, what are what are these chocolate mints you guys are talking about? Every time she's come, it is, uh, come and visited us, we've gone to the keg, and mm -hmm. at the keg, have these little candy things, there's no limit on how many you can take, and they just kind of leave them around. Oh. So I would take way too many. <laughs> are they are they really good? Yes, they're oh, phenomenal. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, so that, but Cindy. So that just means you know when we all get together, we need to make sure that we stock up on chocolate mints. <laughs> awesome! It sounds great. Um, so, you know, we've spoken a lot about horseback riding, pageant prep, pageant experience, YouTube. Actually, I want to talk to you about YouTube. What got you into YouTube to begin with? I honestly could not answer that because there's nothing that specifically, like, I was like, ooh, I want to do this. I just kind of got bored one day and figured out that I could do it. So I made a video, started editing it, and I posted it, and I liked it. So I just kept doing it from there. And a few times I've been like, ooh, I don't want to do this. Because it, when you like spend making a video and then it gets like three likes and 28 views, then you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. But yeah, I do. Nothing really got me into it in particular, but I just started and now I love it. That's awesome. So did you just teach yourself one day how to edit a video? Yep. That's awesome because, you know, I've seen some of your videos from your old channel and you are great with editing and filming and getting the right content. Like I said, I learned a lot about horseback riding and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there. Is there, was there a niche for you to want to do it? Like, is there a group of people who inspire you to do horseback riding? Or was it just something you came up with? Um, like YouTube-wise or just in general? YouTube-wise. Oh, well, there was, I had watched like a few internet um, equestrian celebrities, but I was never like, I want to like be that person. I want to, because I don't want to ever get so many people because then everyone's always trying to pick out like, oh, you did this wrong. Oh, you did that wrong. We don't like you anymore. Mm. And you get so much comments and everything flowing in which can be good but can also be really bad um so i would like to kind of keep it small i've never wanted to be like a gigantic famous big equestrian youtuber <laughs> um mm -hmm. but yeah i used to watch a lot of people on youtube like that that's interesting that you say that because you know sometimes it's true sometimes people can be mean and very critical with what you post out there like and it, you end up becoming more vulnerable, right? They're criti criticizing, sorry, your your art. Yeah. Um, so how, when that happened, how did you handle all of that? It most of the time it didn't bother me because it was just some eight year old who took their mom's phone and commenting <laughs> random stuff that they don't know anything about. Um, mm -hmm. So if it's something like, for example, I'll post a video and they'll be like. Oh, you did this wrong, and I know I didn't do it wrong. And I was like, okay, 
and I'll block them. <laughs> um, so That's good. Really, I've just seen a lot of other people get, like, they'll get death threats and they'll get a million messages the minute telling them everything they do wrong, and I do not want that. Wow. Um, That's rude. Yeah, but it's still fun to post every once in a while. I mean, you post for yourself, right? You post to yep. show who you are and your your talent. So if people are going to troll you and cyberbully you, they have, like you said, it's an eight-year-old taking their mom's phone and making comments, right? Yeah. You're so funny. Um, so I did have a question for you, and then it lost my train of thought when you mentioned the eight-year-old trolling on social media. Um, but I do want to ask you a little bit more back going into pageants. You know, you are young, and I talked to earlier that, you know, you're a role model to all these younger girls, but what do you have to say to people who are looking at you because you are in the preteen division and might not understand pageants so much like what would you tell them like people who have never done a pageant and they don't really know what it's about mm -hmm. I would just tell them that because I'm assuming most people from what I know they they hear pageant and they think oh toddlers and tiaras oh beauty contest you only win if you're pretty or whatever mm -hmm. um so I would just try and make sure that they knew it's not about that tell them that I've actually made a lot of friends along the way in pageants, and it's fun. There's parties, you get to stay in fancy hotels, and like you can stay up all night partying. And yeah, so they, I would just like to get it out there that it's definitely not about being pretty because you could take a model in there, and if she doesn't know how to talk and if she doesn't know how to walk, then she won't win. Well, then you heard it here first. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm I'm curious because you know you're at that age where. People are nice, but people are not so nice. Um, when you told your friends and family that you were competing in pageants, how did they accept it or did they make comments about it? Most of them don't really mind. They just, most of them don't really mind. I just don't think they fully understand what it is because they, again, they think pageant and they think, oh, beauty contest, toddlers and tiara. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're not like, overly like i'm gonna apply to um where are we going <laughs> chicago i'm gonna fly to chicago I'm gonna be your number one fan i'm gonna buy all your dresses for you like throw roses at you but <laughs> they do support it that's great when he said throw roses at you i was thinking like figure skating when they're done and they do they do that for horseback riding oh you'd scare oh, okay. the out of the horse <laughs> that's true so what do they do then like after your your um so after, routine like, yeah like after your jumping rounds and everyone's finished they'll line you up and mm -hmm. they'll give you your ribbons and they'll announce your pace uh your places and everything but generally the person who wins or comes in second gets to do a victory lap where you go take the saddle off and they'll give you like a blanket thing to put on your horse and they'll throw a bunch like they'll put rosettes all over your horse mm. um, and you get to just go gallop around and do a victory lap. So that's a fun part. That's awesome. So they're not throwing them at the horses. They're placing them on the <laughs> horses. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so horseback riding, how long have you been doing it for? Uh, I think it's going to be five years very soon. Wow. That's that does anyone else in your family do horseback riding or was it just something that you decided on your own uh, my grandpa owned a race track and some race horses i think but mm -hmm. he was never, never actually a rider and no one else in my family um rides there most of them are scared of horses so yeah it was kind of just a thing that i decided i wanted to do that's awesome. So it, it's great that you have their support, you know, in pageantry and in horseback riding because they seem to be foreign worlds for your family. So it's great that, you know, they're all able to come together and support you and your sister. Um, you know, it must have been interesting competing with your, your little sister. How, how was that for you? It was, I think it made it a lot um, better. Mm -hmm. when I was there with my sister because I was there with someone I knew um, and it obviously wasn't just my mom sitting in the crowd. I got to watch her win and got to watch her do it. Um, so that was a really good experience for me and I also just liked having someone there that 
I knew I could like stay with her and I didn't have to talk to anyone else if I didn't want mm -hmm. to. Um, and yeah, so it was, I would say it was definitely a lot better having her there than having her not there. Mm -hmm. But it got a little stressful at times with her there. <laughs> but do you find that this experience has brought you closer or this is just like something that you two are going to remember forever? I think we'll remember it forever, but I wouldn't say it's made us close. Are you too competitive? Yes. Oh, okay, that's why. I, I can see that. I can see that. But, you know, it's great to have somebody there with you, like you said, for especially when it's your first time at a big pageant like what Galaxy Canada is, right? And walking into orientation, it can be overwhelming. So it's great that you had your sister with you. I'm, I'm really excited to see what the two of you have in store, what you have in store. I, I can only imagine you're so young to see where the journey takes you. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Do you ever think, I? because I know your mom's watching, do you ever think your mom will compete in a pageant? I've told her to. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, she'll be so, like, ready to go to all these events and ready to go get dresses and ready to go do fittings. So I've always been like, you love it so much, why don't you try it? Exactly. She's like vicariously living through you and your sister's experience. But I want to see your mom on stage. I do too. She's like, no, no way. Absolutely not. What? Come on. We got to get your mom on, on, on the stage one day. I'm excited for it. Cindy, work your magic, please. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. Um, so pageants and family. I'm, I'm interested, like, I really want to see your mom on stage, and I really want to see what she could do. Um, do you ever think any of your other family members or friends might get into it? We tried to get one of my friends into it, but it was a big no from her. Mm -hmm. I don't think... Most of my cousins are boys, so probably not. <laughs> and I couldn't see any of my other close family doing it. Uh, there's some of my friends, I know some of my friends used to do it. Oh, wow. So I can see them maybe taking it up again. That's awesome. So with pageantry, how, what have you learned in the short years that you've been doing it so far? Like, what have you learned about yourself and just in general? Um, how competitive I actually am because I'll get there <laughs> and I'll be nervous and I'll be like, I don't want to do this. Too nervous. Well, I don't I want to go out on a stage no way <laughs> um and then by the time it's actually time like to when you go on stage and they're announcing who wins in this i don't win this mm -hmm. i don't know what i'm gonna do with myself <laughs> but yeah and also yeah i've learned that from riding too but mainly pageants mm -hmm. that's awesome your mom just commented she said never we're going to get your mom on stage one day. Don't worry. Uh, but that's great that, you know, you've you've learned these things about yourself. But have you gained any life skills that you think you're going to continue to take with you as you get older? Definitely responsibility because when you're told that, like, you've got this much time before your next um, stage walk and you've got this much time before your next and you're going to interview alone and you're backstage alone and you're just running around with no control. It definitely teaches you how to be responsible and be organized and how to get where you need to be, when you need to be, and how to get all your stuff ready. So I'd say definitely that. That's awesome. And, you know, you are talking about, you know, your timings and remembering all these things. It reminded me of our um, Queen's photo shoot, and you were just killing the camera. Have you ever done modeling before? No. Nope. So that was your first? time in front of the camera like that uh, yeah basically How, what was that like for you it was very <laughs> it was a little awkward because i didn't know what i was supposed to be doing mm -hmm. and, but it was very fun being able to just like pose and I guess take a picture there <laughs> I mean, your pictures turned out great. And for those who are wondering what pictures I'm talking about, they're actually the thumbnail. There's three photos there. It's a thumbnail um, for this video. So once you're done watching this, you should take a look at them because Kylie, you killed the camera. And I remember you had some help from um, Nicole and um, I'm having a mind fart. 
Um, how was that having the help from your sisters there to show you what to do? It was definitely it. I wouldn't. I don't want to be like you. Be like, yeah, it was helpful, and I'd be like, yes, it was helpful. <laughs> but they definitely were a lot of um, like help when I didn't know what I was doing, and they'd guide me and show me what I needed to do. And it was just good having someone else there who had experience and knew what they were doing because I first international pageant had no clue. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it was really nice having them there. That's awesome. It, it's great to have you know, this whole group of girls and sisters helping each other. And I'm excited to see, again, what happens in August, hopefully, um, when we go to Chicago. Um, so, Kylie, before we wrap things up, is there anything that you want to say to our viewers who might be listening? Um, anything that you want to talk about? Thank you for watching, first off. Um, I really appreciate it, and I'm sure Regine does too. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. and that's basically it. I can't wait to see you all if you guys are going to be at internationals. And if so, I hope to see you there. Awesome. And one more thing I want to ask you, do you have any words of wisdom for all of our preteens and all the junior divisions, um, for are the delegates for Canada Galaxy that might be watching this? <laughs> what do you mean by words of wisdom? Like, what is that? Like, do you have any words of encouragement that you might oh. want to give them? I don't want to repeat the same thing, but just be yourself, the person you can be, and I can't wait to see you all there and see, yeah, meet you for the first time. It's going to be amazing. I know that there's going to be a lot of junior division delegates out there who are watching. So continue to do what you are all doing. Um, Kylie, you, like I mentioned, you're an inspiration to not just all of these young girls, but to all of us as well. You know, seeing what you've done in your community, seeing what you continue to do and just watching you grow up. I feel like, you know, in the past two years, years or a year and a half of knowing you, you've just blossomed into this preteen that you are. And it's just amazing to see you grow up. And I do hope that, you know, international comes around, you continue your winning streak and see what you do with your international title, hopefully. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, one more time, uh, Kylie, while we wrap things up, where can people find you if they wanted to follow your pageant journey and your I can't say the word horseback riding journey. <laughs> um, if you want to follow my YouTube, it's uh, Ellie Eventing. Same with my Instagram, but with period in between Ellie and Eventing. If you want to follow my preteen account, it's Miss Preteen Galaxy Canada. And I'm pretty sure there's the same thing on Facebook. I'm not sure though. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Awesome. So make sure you guys check her out on Facebook and Instagram and on YouTube. Let's get her back to the numbers that she had on her previous account. And for those who are watching and if you, you know, you're wondering what Kylie was talking about when it came to her YouTube channel, be nice to on the comments. You know, Kylie worked really hard for her videos and she put a lot of effort into it. So please be nice. Don't troll her. Don't be creepy either because <laughs> nobody wants that, you know, but it's true. Like you told me what happened. So don't be creepy. Creepers, you're not welcome here. But for those who are not creepers, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to this channel. And again, do the same thing with Kylie. Um, Kylie, I, again, I'm looking so forward to seeing what your journey um, where your journey takes you for Galaxy as well as your horseback riding. And to all of you who are watching, thank you so much for spending your Monday with both of us. It's March. It's a brand new month. And we're looking forward to um, continuing our, all of these episodes with you. I'm looking forward to spending Wednesday evening with you. We have an amazing another Galaxy Queen with our Galaxy candidate with us. Um, so I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday. Kylie, again, thank you so much for being here with us. And we'll see, we'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye.